Hey, what's up guys? Theo here. It's been a while. In this video, we're going to go ahead and start with the Ruby course here on Codecademy. Um, so I actually haven't done this course. I think it would be fun to do. Um, and because the new job I have is actually using Ruby, Ruby on Rails. Uh, I'm still a front-end React developer, but um, yeah, I want to beef up my Ruby skill. So let's get to it. I think I've actually done most of this course. I just have never recorded it. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to click start, and I'll probably just do it in uh, chunks of one lesson. So let me go ahead and log in here. Let me log in with my GitHub. All right, cool. So I'm connected. So let's go through this, and we're just going to, let's see. We'll try and do, we might do all of these. Uh, so I'm just, again, sort of my strategy, you can go ahead and read, I'm not, you know, everyone can go ahead and do that. We're just going to go ahead and do the instructions, so that one required nothing. Let's go over data types, numbers, strings, and booleans. So set the following, I'm going to go ahead and, yeah, so set the following variables to the corresponding values, num to the value of 25. Okay, Ruby, again, semicolons are optional, I just have a habit of doing that. My boolean to true. Um, my string to the value of Ruby. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I like single quotes. Let me go ahead and run this. And awesome. So next one. Variables. And what is it asking us to do? Set the variable myNum to equal 100. Alright. Let's go ahead and run that. Awesome. Next up, doing some basic math operations. Do a little math practice. So let's just do... Uh, puts four, or we'll just do puts four plus three, something basic like that, right? And run that seven, you know, four minus three plus seven. Let's go ahead and try that out. Negative six. Okay, cool. Puts and print. So the print command just takes whatever you give it and prints it onto the screen. Puts adds a new line, so it's almost like console dot. It's almost like system dot out dot print and system dot out dot print line. Um, so let's do one print statement and let's do one put statement. So we'll say print and hello and we'll do puts world. All right. Very uh, canonical example. And let's add on a little space there. Awesome. So everything in Ruby is an object. Uh, click next and we'll start learning about objects. The length, this is a property. Notice it's not a function, it's a property on an object uh, of the string class, right? So if we can look look at this, I can call dot class on there and we can see what we get. If it oh sorry, let me do puts dot class. And it's of the string class, right? Um, similarly if we were to put like a number right here, dot class, and what are we gonna get? We're gonna get fixed num, right? Okay, so call the dot length method on your name. So we'll say Theodore. And we'll just say dot length. Run that. And sorry, I keep forgetting. Puts Theodore dot length. We're going to get eight. Awesome. So reverse. Uh, we'll also reverse. And again, notice that these are properties and not methods. I mean, they're methods, but the way they're called, you can think of like a JavaScript property. Uh, okay, so we'll just put puts Theodore dot reverse. And let's go ahead and run that, and we'll get Aorodohe. The <laughs> okay, upcase and downcase, pretty self-explanatory. Self-explanatory. And uh, so let's try that. We'll put Theo dot upcase, and we'll put Theo dot downcase. And let's see what we get. So same sort of thing, right? All right, single line comments. And let's go ahead and try and do a single line comment. Write a comment in the editor. Hello, Ruby. All right, run that. Good to go. Multi-line comments. And make sure begin and end are on their own lines. Okay, so we can do begin and end. And this is how we can. I am a multi-line comment. Yo, all right, cool. And run that, make sure we get that right. Cool, and naming conventions. So naming conventions, 
with this like underscore case, create a variable name and set it equal to your name. So say name is going to be equal to Theodore, and your string should be your string can be capitalized, but name should be all lowercase. Uh, do, 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 what is the sign? Well, your name is a string like this. Your string could be capitalized, but name should be. We'll just put name dot uh, down case. Okay, cool. All right, variables and data types. Create a variable called my name. Say so equal to your name as a string. Theodore. Or like a variable called my age that equal to your age 24. Go ahead and run that. And good. Math, let's do a little bit of math. So we'll say sum is equal to, I'm just going to copy and paste these right here, equal to 13 plus 379. Product is equal to 923 times 15. And quotient is equal to 13,209 divided by 17. And print each variable. To the console, so we'll just say puts some product quotient, and let's go ahead and look at what this returns. Given three, oh sorry, yeah, I'm still thinking in JavaScript. So say puts some puts product and puts quotient, and run this. All right, cool. Uh, strings and string methods. Declare a variable name and set it equal to your name, Theodore. Um, call down case on your name and make it all lowercase name I'll just say name to lower is equal to name dot down case I'll say name dot to upper or name dot up case it'll also say call reverse yeah call them some run or you can chain them together yes yeah, so we'll just do this so say we'll say Puts name dot upcase dot downcase dot reverse. And we'll see what we get there. Cool. So it reversed it and it also did to downcase it. Alright, and last one comments create a single line comment and a multi line comment. So a single line comment, I am a single line comment. And finally, the multi line comment, as we remember, it starts at begin and end. Uh, yeah, I think that's right, right? Again, I am a multi-line comment. Let me make sure I'm not crazy. Do 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 do. Begin and end. Also need to be online themselves. Yeah, I think that's what I put. Begin and end. Single line comment. And begin. I am a comment. Multi-line. All right, and end that off. Let's go ahead and run that. Make sure this is good to go. All right, cool, guys. So that was it for the first Ruby lesson. Next up, we'll be putting the form in formatter. Um, we'll write a small program that will format a user input. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to give it a like, comment below, and, uh, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in lesson two of Ruby on Codecademy. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.